realise that writing names onto a wall was going to be so difficult. It's time for a coffee break. Maybe not quite. It was, uh, let's be honest with uh, everybody, it was a 12 volt comp, which I was absolutely gutted about reduced to 12 volts. It was also uh, from the winter tees and it was pick and clean. So my win, whilst it was great, there's some things we've got to take into consideration. But there's one club that has changed my whole game, I reckon, to be honest with you, because of the impact, the knock-on effect it has, and we'll talk about what club it is uh, very, very shortly. But first of all, let's take a look at how I got on with most of the round. Um, I've got to say that it was a difficult one to record. I'm in a competition. I've got a two ball behind, three ball in front. Nobody wants to be stopped and held up by somebody wanting to film themselves. So it's very, very awkward. Did it on the iPhone. Downside with the iPhone was I had 1% of battery left after eight holes. So I didn't get to finish off and tell you the end result. But here's a little look at some of the shots at least that I played in Thursday's midweek comp at Hessel. Right, so a decent drive on the second, uh, found a fairway, good angle into this flag and uh, got a decent birdie chance here. First putt was very slow, the greens. See if I can do a bit better with this one, get it back to levels. I just had to sit there, which was uh, a statement I never thought I'd hear myself make, which was that I'm going to driver at the moment as we go to club. I'm probably the most confident I've ever been, certainly for a long time. Again, this G400 Max shaft combination seems to be working really well. So that's uh, another decent drive and fairway found. Good chance of getting close again here. So here's a drive that uh, I did say was good and I'm more than happy with, but looking at it, can you be too close? It feels it's a literally a flick with the wedge now, right over the angle of the pond. So maybe it's a bit of a slippy one, this. I'd take that any day of the week, let alone when a camera's about four foot away from me. I've got to make birdie this time, surely. So as an update, that uh, put you just see we just played through a group, so you missed the uh, par three, at which uh, I had to shank off the tee and sunk a 20 foot off a par. Great camera wasn't on, but there you go. So I'm still one over gross, and that again was a chance of birdie. And uh, the putter was working, and it's not been bad putting, but again that one just stopped an inch short, so one over onto the sixth tee. Big thing about today, it's been uh, yet again G400 Max, confidence with the driver, finding fairways. And honestly, it's a big part of my game because I do miss a lot of fairways. I did, it's 
it's uh, past tense that one, at least at the moment anyway. We just did a 54 wedge right over the flag, gone a little bit long but another real good birdie chance. Let's see if I hold one, get a bit frustrated. So that's eight holes done, uh, still one over. I've had, you probably heard me just wins there, could be four under. If golf was about ifs and buffs, would be uh, decent, but uh, still one over, happy with that. But more importantly, finding the fairways and finding the middle of green. So it's enjoyable golf when it's like this. Just wish I could hold the putt, but. Not putting badly, just uh, not quite getting them dropping and the greens aren't, they're not great to be fair, not blaming them of course, but that's been been good so far. How are you getting on Sid? How are you getting on? Struggling. <laughs> How's the watch though? Oh brilliant. Still working? Yeah. Good. Now as you can see, the statement when I come off the third tee was one that I never thought I'd ever make when playing around the golf because the club that has changed everything for me, and some of you will guess this already, I better take that off, it's not the G400, it's a, there's a little extra word, it's a G400 Max. And like I said, those of you who watch the videos on a regular basis know what's happened with this. I got fitted and bought an Epic in November. G400 Max arrived for demo in about February. Took out on the course and I noticed straight away a difference in my performance wasn't about distance, it was about dispersion, it was about finding fairways. And from then on in, I had a real dilemma that has ultimately led to the G400 Max going into the bag. And it's made a massive difference to my game. The statement that I made on the third was that, uh, the third hole at Hesel, by the way, is it's not a driver hole. Certainly from the forward tees, it's not. And um, I find it so interesting, the fact that it's my, it, at the moment, it's my go-to club. It's a club that I would, in that perfect situation there on the third, even though I knew I could get away with a hybrid, I still went for driver, landing in a very small sort of uh, area. And if anything, I got a little bit too close to the hole, to be honest, with uh, with what ended up, but all was good. But it's the, forgetting my round at the moment uh, in particular, it's the knock-on effect that a driver has on your game. Driving was the poorest part of my game for many years because I had a tendency to hit a snap hook right to left. That's not the club's fault, that was obviously mine. But coupled with um, the fact that my, I think definitely I'm delivering the club head uh, a little bit squarer at impact a little bit more often. I'm trying to eradicate obviously that hook shot, uh, which has been a bad one of mine. Um, don't get me wrong, technique and my swing has obviously got a lot to do with what's happening but I can't help but think that this G400 Max has helped me massively and if it's only just in a confidence if it's only in the head then that's absolutely fine as well but every swing I put onto the G400 Max just does not seem to be going a million miles away and like I said with other drivers in the past I've had a tendency to lose balls both left and right and like I said Errors are minimal with this. If I take into consideration Thursday's round, I hit sort of nine out of 12 fairways pretty much in regulation, two par threes, uh, and I missed the first fairway off the tee. 
other than that, pretty much, I think I took driver on every hole. And the knock-on effect I'm talking about is that, you know, you've got an iron in your hand coming from the fairway, so the irons probably being the strongest part of my game, all of a sudden I'm getting into a position where I can give myself birdie chances, par chances certainly, and again, greens in regulation then starts to step up rather than me playing eight, either three off the tee or playing out of the rough or from the wrong position. So the G400 Max has helped me massively and a question I've got for you today is what club has changed your game, if any? What's your go-to club? What, what has been in the bag for a number of years? Whether that be putter, wedges, driver, irons, what is it that has particularly helped you out in your game? Because right now I kind of knew I was going to play well, knew well, that's a bit over the top. I was confident that I was hopeful that I would perform well on the Thursday. And confidence is a major thing. Now then, enough about the club that's transformed my game, or at least for now it has. The other thing that had an impact was the, tar the Taggers target board. Because this idea came out of the fact that I was playing in a um, supposed qualifier Thursday. It didn't turn out that way. And I had some goals personally, and I thought I'd have a natter with you about it. And it turns out, it was a brilliant, turns out to be a brilliant, I was going to say idea, it was a brilliant conversation to have had uh, because we've now got, we've got a wall. We haven't got, forget the whiteboards, the whiteboards have gone. As you can see from the beginning of the video, we've now got a wall. It's still a Taggers target ball, but we've got a massive wall to fill. And I hope we fill this whole room with names of average golfers out there who want to set themselves a target for the year of 2018. And really from we'll carry on beyond that because that the, the name will always be there it's just a case of can you make a difference to your achieve your goals and when you do if anyone's questioning this what I'm going to do tin a grey paint or mark out the score that you did get and we'll replace it with the new handicap and the new handicap will be marked in a different colour so you're going to stick out like a sore thumb we're going to see who's made a difference this year and who hasn't and what it did for me it added a little bit of, and Quentin Flora was the guy who came up with the right word, accountability. Uh, I said pressure, and that's not what we want. We've got enough pressure in the game. But it just made me want to perform well and hopefully get a reduction and get my, my uh, target, achieve that target. And if it works, then it's absolutely fantastic. So thanks for all your help with that. Keep on pushing and promoting it. I'm trying to get one thing I've noticed. There's no ladies on the board. We need some ladies. Come on, get involved. Certainly, um, let's get some celebrities on there. Plenty of celebrities play golf. What are your targets for the year? And the next one, a couple of pros who I spoke to, obviously they've got no handicap target, but you've got plenty of goals. So for the pros alone, you can set some different goals. We did get one, actually, it's Graham Arnott, and he said he's a pro, and he said his target is to shoot more often in the 60s so that's a great target for him this year so yeah pros get involved but maybe a different type of target but i'll still write it up there and you can get involved with the target board have we got anything else to discuss this week i think that's pretty much it i've got a bit of writer's cramp i've got new names to add it's a difficult one they're coming in on instagram twitter and on youtube so i am struggling to keep a track of it so I'm going to scan over at the end of this video. I'm a day or so behind, so don't panic too much. Have a quick glance across, and when you spot that your name isn't in there, then give me a reminder, and I'll make sure to get it on. And in the meantime, don't forget, question for this week in the comments box down below. What club has transformed your game, and why? Right, that's it. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe, share, do all them things. We're on a bit of a roll. I'm enjoying it, so uh, it's Saturday. I'm in on a Saturday doing a video, but like I said, I'm enjoying it. See you very soon.